Hi, this is Chef Robert, and today I'm making a Kahlua chocolate frosting blackberry cake. This is your list of ingredients. You're going to need four cups of self rising flour, two and a half cups of half and half, two cups of thawed frozen blackberries, two cups of granulated sugar, two sticks of butter. You want that butter to be melted, uh, and two whole eggs. And as always, I like to put uh, the wet ingredients in the mixer first, so that way the flour doesn't stick to the bottom of the bowl. So first we're going to put uh, the half and half, and then the sugar, the eggs, and the berries. And we're going to mix that for a while until everything is pretty well incorporated. You're going to want to put that on uh, like a number one speed, number two speed at the most. Or it's just going to make a mess. So it'll take a few minutes to mix everything so it's incorporated. And then add your flour to it. And you're definitely going to start out on a number one speed. And when it gets mixed uh, pretty well... You can take it up to a number two speed, but if you go higher than number two speed first, you're going to have flour everywhere. So then after you get it mixed pretty well, then we're going to put the butter, which is going to be melted butter, um, in and mix that in incorporate that with the batter. That way it incorporates really well. Take it to start on the number one speed again and take it up to a number two speed until it's... Uh, nicely incorporated and then I'm using uh, non-stick cake pans for this but I took parts from paper and cut out a piece big enough to cover the bottom of the uh, non-stick pans and I still oiled the bottom of the pans anyway and put the paper in just to make sure that the cake doesn't stick so you're going to split up your batter between the two cake pans half in each and kind of make it so that it's uh, level you'll use a spatula to do that before you put it in the oven you're going to bake it in a preheated oven at 325 for about an hour and after about 45 minutes you're going to want to take uh, a toothpick and stick it down in the center all the way to the bottom if it comes out and it's not gooey then the cake is done it's probably going to take about an hour at 325 and then after the cake's done take it out and let it cool then we're going to make our chocolate frosting and this is your list of ingredients and we're going to use uh, about a cup of sugar two packs uh, two eight ounce packs of soft cream cheese uh, about a uh, fourth of a cup of Kahlua. Uh, I think I said about a cup of sugar. Three heaping tablespoons of cocoa. And about an uh, eighth of a cup um, of heavy whipping cream. And you're going to put your cream cheese in the bowl first. Then your Kahlua. Then your cocoa. And then the heavy cream. Or cream then cocoa whatever and the sugar you're gonna start it on a number one speed with the paddle instead of the whip like when you made the batter and you're gonna uh, start on the number one speed when it starts getting mixed pretty well you can take this one all the way up to the highest speed until you get a nice smooth chocolate frosting and then when you get your uh, chocolate frosting made, you put uh, one cake on the plate and then put frosting all over it and set the other cake on top of it and then finish covering the entire cake with the chocolate frosting. Then cut a piece and I served uh, uh, caramel ice cream with this one and that's pretty much it. So enjoy yourself. 
This is Chef Robert at Old School Gourmet Treats. Please subscribe, it's free. Again, that's Old Gourmet Street, um, Old Gourmet Treats. Please subscribe, it's free. I hope you enjoyed the video 